Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexander Selvi, and today we're going over a little RNA seq tutorial. And this is an RNA seq tutorial, and these are the guidelines for Dr. Pedro Mura's Biology 7092 class, 792 class, spring 2019 at the University of Nevada, Reno. Alrighty, so today we are going to be going over how to obtain our tutorial files, extract the files, using HiSat to align our files to a reference or, or an index, a reference genome. And then we are going to use SAM tools to sort these and create BAM files. And then once we create our BAM files, we are going to turn our or we're going to index our BAM files using SAM tools again as well. So previously this is a Perl script that I wrote for um, using different types of tools to align and using SAM tools as well. We aren't going to be using this. This is a Perl script, though. I just wanted to show you guys that we can do a whole bunch of quality control, trimming, and all the things like that to clean up our files if we need to. But today, we're just going to be using this basic tutorial. So we're going to start off. And we are just going to type this in. We're going to, I'm just going to copy and paste this guy in here. Hit enter. And we are going to use the FTP and download this. It should take less than five minutes. And while we're waiting, we're just going to go over where this video is going to be posted. So my YouTube channel is what freedom feels like. I have one subscriber. Yeah. Hopefully that turns out to be a few more than one after this. Anyway. As we can see, we are resolving the server, connecting to, logged in, and downloading all of our files. If I open up another tab here, I'm using Tilix. And if we just check to see what's going on, here we go. Our chromosome xdata.tar.gz is currently downloading. We are going to also be using this HiSat2 bash script, this index bash script, and this sort bash script that we have pre-prepared for you all. Here's our HiSat2 bash script. Once we extract all of our files and information, we're going to have these as our file names. And for each sample in samples located up here, we're going to run this HiSat2 script, just like this one. So this one is only for the very first ERR188044 file and if you wanted to run this to see how it works and see what it see if everything checks out you can run this first for us we are just going to run this all together my computer has 12 threads so i'm going to be using 11 of them and see if we can't get this thing to go a little bit faster so that's our high set 2 script that we're going to be using today to sort our so Use this command to generate the same files right here. This will again work only for that very first um, set of data, but this one will convert all of our SAM files into BAM files simultaneously. And this is what we use. We use SAM tools. If you have not previously downloaded SAM tools, I recommend downloading Miniconda, running the bash script, which I can show. Uh, over here. Let me see. Let me see. Um, this this bash script where is it? Right here. Let's open that bash script. And it should open up for us right here. So this is the bash script for Miniconda. And you just run this thing, it'll install Miniconda. I'm not going to load all of that, but we'll just show you that there. And so let's check on what we're doing. We got about 30 seconds left. After you do Miniconda, you can just go to Biocon, you just search install Bioconda, and you can download Bioconda following the instructions there. It's very simple to install HiSat and SAM's tool. All you do, SAM tools, 
all you do is hit conda install sam tools conda install hisat2 it'll do it all for you adds it to your path so you can run it from anywhere all right we can see we're about 95 percent of the way through about 10 more seconds let's show you guys this index script that we have created to i'll link all these and or i'll upload all these to the description box below on this video but here it is and essentially all it does is take our AM files and indexes them and we note that with this dot bai at the end so and that took about four minutes and one second to one second to download all those files let's see if we have the files in our folder now and there is the file in our folder so now we're going to move on to the second part of our tutorial, which is to extract these tutorial files. So we're just going to copy this here. This, once again, will be linked in the description box below. And we're going to enter this command and watch it extract all the files. All right. Let's see if we got our files in here. And yes, we do. Here's Chromosomites data. Let's switch into that file. Let's switch into that directory and see what it looks like. And here we go. We have our genes, genome, the CSV file, our indices, merge list, which is a text file, and samples. Let's switch into that samples directory and see what that looks like. And there are all of our samples that we're going to be using today. So the next thing that we are going to do we're going to run this hisat command, but we're going to do it in our bash script. So this bash script will take all of our indices and index them, as well as take one read, this is chromosome one, and a second read, because these are paired end reads, and align them to our indices and create SAM files for each. So this dash p is for how many threads we're going to be using. That is 11 threads. And here is our indices. Here is read one. Here is read two. Dash S stands for SAM file, and we're going to create those SAM files. Let's look up what this dash DTA is, and this dash X. So for that, we're going to CD dash, and we have this nifty little. PowerPoint created by Dr. Muir. We're going to open this up. And here we go. So, we're going to come down here. So, P8 is the threads, dash dash DTA, report alignments for processing by transcript assembler, such as string type. So we will get to that in a later video. We will assemble these using string type. Dash X is the base name for the index of the rest of the reference genome. So without further ado, let us run our HiSat2 script. Right here. Using the command patch HiSat. And this may take a minute, but as we can see, it'll go pretty fast using 11 threads. And why don't we H top this? All right. We can see using all 12 threads right here, and it is running. We're using about 2.38 gigabytes out of the 11.5 gigabytes available of our memory. And that's, if you guys don't have htop, sudo apt get install htop, or sudo apt get htop. And this is going to be rough. I guess this might be a two part video, but that's okay. Because this part right here, we can see did the first one, the second one, the third one already. 
plus one, and the 